the Bradford Bulls against York Acorn. Who will be in Wednesday's draw? It's Fronigan Jr. who kicks off towards York Acorn and they're going to allow the ball to bounce and it's going to bounce up kindly for prop forward Elliot Bulmer and he takes tackle one five metres out from his own try line. He's brought down in a crunchy two-man tackle led by Chester Butler and Josh Johnson and early doors Bradford setting out their defensive stall here at Oddsall as York give it now with Tim Stubbs who carries York 20 metres out from their own try line they're on tackle number three here it's a run out of dummy half towards Kevin Apo and Bradford have been penalised for being not square and that's great play there from Nick Speck who's seen York given the six again but no sooner have York been given the six again they've lost the ball Flanagan senior out of the defensive line he wraps up Tom Holder Tom Holder drops the ball scrum head and feed here to the Bradford Bulls 40 metres out from the York try line nil nil here 45 seconds gone Miles Lawford will feed the scrum in a centre field position so Lawford from the base of the scrum Flanagan to Patton to Gill Gill's caught the York defence offside inside the 10 so it's a very very early penalty here for Mark Dunning and the Bradford Bulls they're not going to go for two they're just going to keep the pressure going on here they're not even going to kick to touch and it's going to be Flanagan who will tap the ball so Bradford knocking already on that York door Apple tackle one Flanagan to Patton Patton to Gill Fogging Johnson towards the corner Fogging Johnson two metres out <coughs> good defence there from Gallagher and Dale back it goes in centre field Flanagan Jr to Apo Kevin Apo towards the York line he's five metres out here Kevin Apo underneath the York post Flanagan Senior in at dummy half now it goes to Patton Patton short ball to Johnson four York defenders bring the former Wigglesman down on top of the York line Flanagan now chance here for Bradford they're over the line and they're underneath the post here Brad Foster gets his first competitive score for the Bradford Bulls he scored early doors in pre-season and it's Brad Foster just barging two York defenders over out of the way and it was Tim Smuts and Nick Speck and Bradford opened the scoring here inside two minutes two minutes gone on the clock Bradford Bulls 4 York nil. so two minutes gone Patton as we said earlier didn't train with the Bradford Bulls last week that might expect why he was off radar against Featherston but he's on point early doors here it's Bradford 6 York nil here at Onsell it's West Yorkshire Radio West Yorkshire Rugby League also Bulls TV make the game call a guide with you for this afternoon's game and a good strong promising start from Mark Dunning's side and the Bradford Bulls Brad Foster with a try Patton with the conversion Adam one from one. We didn't turn the kick predictor on for deck pattern because ultimately it was right on front under the post. So we're back underway here at Odson. Nathan Conroy gets proceedings back underway. Josh Johnson tackle one. Fogging Johnson tackle two. Brought down 20 out from his own try line. Centre field now with try scorer Foster. Brad Foster scored that try against the Jewsbury Rams in pre season game number one, you might remember, but that's his first competitive try. Here goes Kevin Apo. Oh, Apo, 10 shy halfway now on tackle four. Quick play the ball from Apo. Here goes Foster. Patted to Wallace. Forward pass though. And that's been picked up by the officials. And that is going to be scrum head and feed here to York. So. A little bit of a mistimed pass there. It was Foster to Patton. Patton just pumped it up there to Wallace. And it was a yard forward. And that's going to give York a chance here. Five metres inside the Bradford Bulls 
half of the field. It's the York supporters making all the noise, noise here, early doors. So 6 0 to the Bradford Bulls. Three minutes gone on the clock. Foster with a try, Patton with a conversion. Six points to nil. York then from the base of the scrum. 25 metres out now. Speck gives the ball to Bulmer. Bulmer's brought down in a two man tackle there by Apple and Butler. Back in centre field here with Chilton. Chilton along the line. Good linking qualities with Josh Parker. York's lively looking fullback. And Bradford backed up on their own try line here. York looking to get an immediate score, an immediate response. Jordan Hyde's brought down. Fifth and last tackle here for York. The right in front of the Bradford post. Across the face they'll go. Apple's gone in on a York defender. And York have lost the ball behind everybody. It's still play on here with Conroy. Conroy's floated it forward to Miles Lawford. Lawford's intercepted the ball. And it was a little bit haphazard there from York Acorn on the last tackle and now there's messing around at the play of the ball and that's a very 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 shallow 10 metres and the referee Aaron Belafonte now urging York to get back and he's took him back about 15 on this next set of six here we go with Patton to Wallace Wallace five shy of halfway not brought down says the officials he's still going Wallace oh Wallace is caught high there the officials have missed that one and that's got the Bull supporters up in arms over on the main stand side. And now Lawford's been hit. And Miles Lawford doesn't like that one. It's a big crunching challenge there on Miles Lawford. And York Acorn getting right in the faces here. And what a tackle that was from George Hunt. He just lifted Lawford up, dumped him on his backside. Bradford have come up with their second error here. And we've had five minutes gone on the clock at Odsall Stadium, and it is Bradford 6, York 0. So Patton with that conversion from in front, 6 points to nil. Bradford lead. It's not going to be pretty here this afternoon at Odsall, because of the standing water, and obviously the snow that is still melting away, and the runoff that obviously comes down off the terraces, and does actually make the such lines very, very soggy. So... Uh, we did actually speak to the, uh, the referee, Aaron Belafonte, as York win a penalty here for a ball steal. George Flanagan involved in that one. That's the dad, senior, reefing the ball out under the nose of the referee. But just a quick one while York find touch, 25 out from the Bradford line. We did speak to Aaron Belafonte and he did say if this was a league game, it would have been called off due to the standing water. Under pressure though from the RFL to play the fixture, the fixture goes ahead. Probably the right decision in the end because the sun is out here at Odsall and the water evaporating. But Bradford backed up on their own line here. York looking for their first points of the afternoon. It goes from Speck to Stubbs. Stubbs, the big prop forward, brought down 10 metres out by Foster and Apo. Speck once again now gives it to Conroy. Conroy now to Holder. Holder on a diagonal run. He's five metres out to left hand side of the post. Can York open? The scoring for themselves here and get themselves on the board. They're going over towards the corner and it's that back row forward, George Hunt, who put that big hit on Miles Lawford. He's a metre out and they're over here, York Acorn. And York Acorn are going to get their first try of the afternoon. It was a lovely, short, shrill pass and it's the big man, Tim Stubbs. And Tim Stubbs just goes through a big gap between Kevin Apple and Miles Lawford. And the try given, and York Acorn back in this game here at Upsall. And it was lovely play from Tim Stubbs. He was screaming for the ball. He was screaming for the ball. Nick Speck into the bread basket. And it was just a simple charge over the line from five metres out. Mark Dunning will not be impressed with that goal line defence from the Bradford Bulls. And the York supporters here... There's around about two to three hundred of them at Odsall this afternoon. They're on the feet. And if that is their only moment that they cheer this afternoon, let's hope it's not. But they've certainly had the money's worth already. Eight minutes gone on the clock. Conversion attempt here from Anthony Chilton. 
That's gone between the poles. Bradford Bulls 6. York Acorn 6 here at Odsall Stadium. Are we about to watch a potential Challenge Cup shock? Eight minutes gone on the clock. But it's Bradford 6. York 6. So try scorer Tim Stubbs and Anthony Chilton with the conversion from in front. So York certainly are here to play this afternoon, although they've now come up with an error on the restart, and it's an error at the play of the ball, and that's Miles Lawford there just putting a little bit of pressure on the wing of Ben Teague. Teague's lost the ball. And that's head and feet to the Bradford Bulls. Well, we might have a bit of a, a point scorer in a fond here this afternoon. Bradford are setting their attacking stall out here now. They look for an immediate response. And it's going to be Flanagan, 25 metres out. Ball's sloppy though, it's on the floor. Bounces up for Patton. Patton now to Wallace, tackle one. Wallace is held in the tackle, 25 metres out. Centre field position. Here goes Johnson, now to Wallace. Wallace is second carry. And he's brought down 15 metres out. Mark Dunning making seven changes to his team this afternoon. That might, that might affect the cohesion and continuity. Here goes Lawford though. Lovely ball of Butler. Butler, pass one, pass two. Back to Flanagan Junior. And Flanagan Junior, that inside support. He will skip past three York defenders. It was lovely interworking play. Butler put the fending. Pass two, and then it was Flanagan Jr. who's touched down for his first try of the season for the Bradford Bulls. And just like that, the Bradford Bulls hit back. Bradford 10, York 6. 11 minutes gone on the clock, and George Flanagan Jr. He got the biggest hug of everybody there. From his dad, or George. Well, perhaps that try might just be of what Bradford needed. Padded from in front again. Two from two. Here at Oxford Stadium. 12 minutes gone. Bradford Bulls 12. York Acorn 6. So that pattern with the conversion from in front. And it's Bradford 12, York 6. Back underway here via the boot. This time Anthony Chilton gets proceedings back underway. Pattern immediately turns, gives the ball to Apo. Apo makes 20 metres forward there for Bradford. So 12 minutes gone. And we've already had three tries. Here goes Flanagan Jr. now. Tackle two. His run is halted. 25 out from his own line. Flanagan Sr. behind it. Acting half. Now it goes to Foggin Johnston. Uh, Foggin Johnston just going to meet three hungry York defenders. Head on in front of the referee who uh, just looks on as Flanagan wants to quick play the ball. Here goes Josh Johnson. Tackle number four here for Mark Dunn inside. Five metres out from halfway, one remaining. It's going to go to Patton. Patton to Lawford. Lawford, hot potato stuff here. Lawford goes behind Patton. Referee says he's got to take the tackle, otherwise it's a penalty. So Lawford just drops to his knees there. They're on the last tackle on halfway. Patton boots a ball. A high hanging kick. Gillen Wallace chasing this one. Kieran Gill picks it up. And Kieran Gill will score the easiest try of his professional career it was a horror show from Ben Dale the old acorn winger he knocks the ball on Gill picked it up and Gill had a bit of a foot race with your acorn fullback Josh Parker but from 25 metres out Kieran Gill there was no stopping Gilly and it's Bradford 16 York 6 here at Odsall, we're in the 14th minute and Bradford do go back to back. That will perhaps calm some of those nerves. After that York try, 
which cancelled out the opener from Brad Foster. So we've just hit the 15th minute here. Kieran Gill, fourth try of the season for him. Just a quick reminder for next week, we're here again at Odsall. Bradford against Sheffield. Patton. <coughs> Toughest conversion attempt of the afternoon, this one. 15 metres to the left hand side of the pause. Patton pilots that one between the pause. Three from three. Bradford 18. York 6 here on West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League, also Bulls TV. 15 gone. 80 points to 6, Kieran Gill, Bradford's third try scorer. Complimented the scores already from George Flanagan Jr. and Brad Foster. So Bradford, it was a bit of a sloppy set of six to be brutally honest. They got very, very lucky there. York have gone for the short restart here and they're nearly going to come up with it. Good play there from George Hunt to put a lot of pressure on Flanagan Senior who took the ball on his old 20 metre line in the end. It caught the wind and just kind of like glided down into the Bradford half of the field. Here goes Apo. Oh, Kevin Apo. He's actually crashed into the back there of Brad Foster. So the two Bradford players just uh, getting a little bit mixed up as Patton now to Wallace. Wallace rolled over by Gallagher and Chilton, they're up to halfway here Bradford, centre field now with Foster, Foster to Apoy, offloaded the ball out the tackle, Lawford though, oh, well, there's a bit of a swinging arm there, again that's missed by the officials, Bradford on the last tackle, they go back to the 40, Patton now, once again targeting Dale, he's lost it again as Dale, but he was facing his own try line, so York back in possession. Both sets of supporters enjoying this one, it must be said. 16 gone on the clock. And we've already had 24 points. It could be a bit of a score of fun here at Odsall this afternoon. We'll keep you up to date with the latest scores. Full time early doors, it was Fatal Heath 10, North Wales Crusaders 18. Does anybody fancy a trip to Colwyn Bay, North Wales? York. 40 metres out from their own line, offloading the ball behind everybody. Touch touches play on, and Josh Parker will carry York Acorn up to halfway on tackle number four. Good defence though from Jaden Myers over on the far stand side. Back, they're going to come down the middle channel here with George Hunt. Last tackle, says referee Bella Fonte. Ball goes on the blind side, Chilton kicks diagonally. Flanagan Senior lets Junior take it. And Junior gives it to Fogging Johnson. And Johnson, some of these tackles, that was perfectly legal. The zoos and ours from the big crowd here at Odsall. But Fogging Johnson, you know, you're talking about National Conference League opposition. A lot of these players, they do this every single weekend. They roll the sleeves up as Flanagan Junior carries Bradford inside the York Acorn half of the field. So the 48 metres out, down the middle of the goal here now with Foster. Tackle four on this set of six for Bradford. It's Bradford 18, York six at Odsall, and York have disconceded a six again here, laying on in the tackle, and that's going to see Flanagan Jr. wrapped up by the centre, Ryan Gallagher, on tackle number one. The 30 metres out now, Bradford. Purring, hunting, a fourth score here inside the opening 20 minutes as Josh Johnson gives it to Flanagan Jr. Jr.'s lost the ball, though. It's picked up by York Acorn, who've knocked it on. Referee might say scrum head and feet to Bradford here. Oh no, he's going to give head and feet to York. He'll say Flanagan Jr. knocks the ball on. Just watching a replay of that on the monitor. And it's a good tackle there from Nathan Conroy. He come in and he went straight for Flanagan Jr.'s right arm that was carrying the ball. He's dislodged it. Onus on the ball carrier. No complaints from mine. Bradford's fourth error in this game. We've got 18 minutes gone here in Odson Stadium. 22 left in this first half. And it's Bradford Bulls 18, York 6. Just take a quick break here while both players have a bit of fluid intake and just take a bit of time to form the scrum. <coughs> so from the scrum, York Acorn, 
move the ball wide over towards the far stand side here in Oxford with Ben T. He'll play the ball to second row forward. George Hunt. Hunt wrapped up 30 metres out. He's now going to get to his feet and he'll go straight down the middle here with Tim Stubbs. Stubbs the try scorer for York Acorn. They're going to kick early in the count here, York. Straight down towards Flanagan Jr. He'll take the ball from his own 20. And Flanagan Jr. Oh, good telling tackle there. It had to be on Flanagan Jr. Because he was just about to apply the afterburners. And he's brought down Tinshire halfway. Here goes Kieran Gill. Ball's gone behind everybody here. And Bradford have come up with no another error here. And it's a fifth error here from the Bradford Bulls. And there's going to be a triple substitution here from York head coach Josh Mortimer. He must be delighted with the effort and application from the National Conference League side. York defeated the RF, a RAF 12 points to 10 in the second round. Another game against the Bulls today will be a really tough test. Which is why head coach Jason Mortimer says the pressure's off his side. Giving his team a free hit and also this afternoon and I guess one route road for York Acorn reaching the third round is that the York uh, side don't have far to travel after visiting Edinburgh Eagles in round one and the Portsmouth based Royal Navy in the second round so it's about 50 minutes on a coach from York to Odsall so from the scrum after the treble substitution the fresh triumvirate of York Acorn players led there by forward Jack Brines the 20 metres out here now from the Bulls line. Can they get a second try here against the championship heavyweights? They're going over on the edges. Oh. Ball's out wide to Ben Teague. He's in touch. He's gone over in the corner. But the touch judge will say he's put a foot in touch. And that was credit there to Jaden Myers and also Miles Lawford who shifted across. It was great play there from York Acorn. In fact, it was Joe Arundel as well. It was Joe Arundel who put his body on the line. And the score remains 18 points to 6. No try then to York Acorn. It was on the power play, says referee Aaron Belafonte, the referee for this game this afternoon. And Matt Dunning about to make his first changes of the afternoon. Fenton Rogers coming on alongside Eben Skur, so Eben Skur's first taste of action in 2023. Well, there's a delay of game here, and all the water carriers are running on here, but the referee's wanting everybody to uh, to get proceedings back underway here. So 20 minutes gone at Odson. Bradford, 18, York, 6. So they've come up with five errors of the balls. Foggy Johnson caught high. Third penalty of the afternoon that's gone the way of the Bulls. That one for a high tackle there on Foggy Johnson. Miles Lawford finds touch. And that was prop forward Elliot Bulmer <laughs> just going in high over the top there on Foggy Johnston. The Wolf just looking around and saying, Who the heck was that? It's come through unscathed as the Wolf. They're a tough species. Five metres inside the York half on tackle one. Rogers plays the ball. Here goes Hebben Skur. Skur with a line break. The tackle break. The inside support now from Flanagan Senior. And the 20 metres out here now, Bradford. Looking for try number four of the afternoon. Patton floats it out to Myers. Myers is 10 metres out. Although he's gone in touch. It was a high risk move there from the Bradford Bulls. It was a lovely quick play of the ball there from Flanagan Senior. Patton floating it out, missing out Lawford and Arundel. And Myers taken into touch there by the man who was just taken into touch by Arundel and Myers. Ben Teague. So, scrum head and feed here to York Acorn. <coughs> As we head towards the second quarter of this game. We've got 18 minutes to go to half time, and it's Bradford Bulls 18, York Acorn 6 here at Odsall. The pitch really, really cutting up, and they've tried the best of uh, the club, and I think a lot of work 
should a lot of a lot you know a lot of praise goes to the volunteers who were here yesterday at eight o'clock in the morning and we're here again early doors this morning clearing the snow off the pitch people like Kenny Baker Nathan Lamb John Downs and Downs they deserve a lot of praise for their efforts in getting in this game on but it must be said this is no excuse for Bradford's errors and poor discipline with the ball oh sorry fracturous discipline with the ball as Bradford concede another six again here with York Acorn 20 out from the road try line so the interchange hooker Danny Byworth has just come on and won York their second six again of the afternoon now look please Mark Dunning 18 points to six this game in a bit of an arm wrestle here, Bradford. Moving the ball over on the left hand edge. Good, quick, fast hands though from Hunt. Hunt to Myers. That's Jordan Myers. So you've got Jaden against Jordan over on that left wing. As they come back down the middle part of the field. But Fenton Rogers and Evan Skur are just going to push back Jack Brines back inside the York Acorn half of the field. They're on tackle four here. Conroy. Kicks into space. Clever kick. Ugly bounce, but well done there by Flanagan Jr. Who takes the tackle. 25 out from his own try line. So Bradford back in possession here. We've got 15 minutes to go to half time. Bradford Bulls 18. York Acorn 6 here at Odsall Stadium. It's not pretty. It's really gritty and gutsy stuff from both. Fucking Johnston's 10 shy of halfway here. Flanagan to Skur, Evan Skur, 15 metres down the middle field of the park, a quick play of the ball, here goes Fenton Rogers attacking those York Acorn defenders, Bradford appealing for a penalty, non forthcoming, and they're on the last tackle here, so they'll look towards Patton, who will look to pump this into the sky, but they're going to run it here with Lawford, York rushing up, getting straight into the Bradford players faces and Lawford's just kicked from 40 metres out that one's gone dead and it's a six tackle set now for York from their own 20 metre line so 14 and a half to go to half time Bradford Bulls 18 York Acorn 6 here in also Brad Foster, Flanagan Jr and Kieran Gill the try scorers for Bradford this afternoon team takes tackle one out of dummy half here to Woods. Matthew Woods rolled over by Wallace and Patton. They're on their own 40 metre line here, York Acorn. Chilton links with Conroy. Conroy now to Bulmer. Bulmer's five shy halfway. Third tackle gone here for York. They've yeah. gone without the ball, York. A rare error from them. And that will give Bradford a chance to have a scrum and a full set of six. Inside the York half of the field, it's still Bradford 18, York 6 here. Just a quick reminder, there's games taking place between Barrow and Swinton, Batley Woff Brow, Dewsbury Rochdale, Doncaster Workington, Featherston against Halifax, Hunslet against Keithley, York against West Balling. We'll keep you up to date with all those scores as they come in throughout the course of the afternoon. And we can tell you in terms of the Challenge Cup, the latest scores are... Full time, Stanley 16, Newcastle 58. Referee stopped the clock, by the way, allowing one of the York players to receive a little bit of medical treatment. Fadal Heath 10, North Wales Crusaders 18. It's Batley Bulldogs 48, Wathbrow Hornets 0. It's Dewsbury 32, Rochdale 18. Siddle and Sheffield 12 points apiece. It's Barrow 12, Swinton 10. And it's Doncaster 0, Workington 12. So Bradford. In a bit of an arm wrestle here. <coughs> Against the side from North Yorkshire. Here goes Fenton Rogers down the middle. Rogers is brought down 30 metres out. It's fair to say it's not the biggest crowd of the season at Odd Sill. There'll be considerably more here next week against Sheffield as Patton feeds Apo. Apo's 20 metres out now. To the right hand side of the post. Flanagan wins a six again. Wants the penalty, but he'll just take the six again. So tackle count resets. 13 minutes to go to half time here. Bradford moving the ball down the middle here with Eben Skur. It's attritional stuff with the forwards down the middle. The pitch really dictating how Bradford are being forced to play. Flanagan to Apple. 
Apo thought it was over for his first try in Bradford Colours, but he's lost the ball. He spilled the ball there on the try line. And once again, the York Acorn defence standing firm. It was a quick play of the ball from Skur, Flanagan Senior, Apo. He was just squeezed out by George Hunt. The back row forward for York Acorn, who, by my recollection, is certainly in the running for man of the match. Early doors here. We've just shy of 30 minutes played. But it's Bradford 18, York 6. So scrum headed feet to York Acorn, 10 metres out from their own try line. They're going to move it here with Chilton. Now to the winger Myers. Myers wrapped up. Teague in there at dummy half. Scampers forward on his own accord. 20 shy of his own line. Tackle two. Back down the middle here with Tibbs. He's brought down as well. Crunching two man tackle there by Butler and Flanagan Senior. York not afraid to promote the ball out the tackle. And the 10 shy are halfway here. And they're really giving Bradford a lot of food for thought as we enter the final 10 minutes of this first half. Last tackle on halfway. Kick's going to come from Chilton. There's a nasty spiral on that. Foggy Johnson takes that one. But he's immediately smothered there. And Foggy Johnson's had the ball stolen. And it's a penalty to Bradford. 20 out from the road try line. It was a booming kick there from the standoff half. Anthony Chilton. Foggy Johnson took it superbly on the fall, but there was just a little bit of extra effort in the tackle. There was Ben Dale who made the tackle, number 15 come in, Jack Brines. He couldn't help himself. He stole the ball. So here at Bradford. Five shy halfway on tackle one with Evan Skur. Baldwinson comes on the field for Apo. Patton to Wallace. Wallace is brought down. Five inside the York half, tackle two. Nine minutes to go to half time here at Odsall. Flanagan Senior to Patton to Baldwinson. Once upon a time, a player for the York Knights. He's rolled over. Ten inside the York half of the field. Here goes Patton to Lawford. A little bit static there from the Bulls on that play. Lawford rolled over on his back. Two tackles remaining on this set for Bradford as Rogers now finds it to Patton. Patton kicks ahead, an invitation for Foggy Johnson and Gill. They're going to force the goal line drop out, Bradford. And at long, long last, a little bit of creativity, a little bit of spark from the Bulls. Patton earning Bradford a repeat set of six. When we spoke to Mark Dunning earlier on this week, the message from Mark Dunning was to treat York Acorn in the same way they would do as if they were playing a Featherstone or a Toulouse or a Sheffield. Mark said he wanted to approach this match with a correct mindset. The same intensity, the same effort. And he said they'll be using the same processes that they have done before the championship games. Well, the message from Mark Dunning was they're taking the game seriously. 18 points to 6. Let us know in the comments if you think that's where Bradford should be. Or is, is that a little bit... <coughs> Referees, he's blowing the whistle here. So we're back underway with the dropout. Evan Skurs just... Moved off the mark on tackle one. Flanagan Senior playing the ball to Rogers. And Bradford are inside the York 10 metre line. So eight minutes to half time here in Odsall. Lawford to Skur. Skur through a gap and welcome back Eben Skur. Eben Skur will just bounce off Josh Parker. And he'll touch down to the left hand side of the post. And it's Evan Skur's first try in his first appearance in 2023 for the Bradford Bulls. And Bradford do make a little bit of ill-disciplined play. It's a credit to York Acorn. I'm just looking. The last conceded points in the 15th minute. We're in the 33rd minute here at Odsall. So they've gone nearly 20 minutes at keeping the Bradford Bulls at bay. So 34 minutes gone on the clock. Eben Skur, Bradford's fourth try scorer. Deck Patton kick predicted at 100%. Four from four for Deck Patton. It's Bradford Bulls 24, 
York April 6 here at Huntsville Stadium this afternoon. Kevin Apple just watching on from the touchline. He comes off, Jordan Ball wins it on. So 24 points to 6. Edmund Skirt, Patton, conversion. West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League. I think that will please Mark Dunning a heck of a lot more than that near 20 minute period where Bradford just really struggled to uh, to get a feel of the game if we're being honest from here credit to York Acorn making Bradford's points at a premium once again they've gone for a short restart Flanagan Senior palms the ball back there to Kieran Gill and here goes Kieran Gill and Kieran Gill's away Kieran Gill now to Myers Myers is rolled over towards touch but it's a dangerous tackle and referee Aaron Belafonte will say it's a penalty Bradford's fifth penalty of the first half it was a lovely mazy run by Kieran Gill give the ball to Jaden Myers and referee Aaron Belafonte going to say Anthony Chilton the stand of half had gone straight into Jaden Myers with a shoulder it's still 13 on 13 and Bradford knocking on the York door here, looking for back-to-back -back scores. Flanagan to Lawford, Lawford to Patton. Patton, Patton takes the line on himself. Bradford looking for a little bit of creativity in second phase. The 10 metres out now, underneath the York post. Fenton Rogers is brought down, five metres out. Two tackles remaining here. Can they go back-to-back -back here, Flanagan? Senior towards the York line, tried the old show and go, he's rolled over, a metre out from the York try line, 24 points to six here, five minutes to half time, Patton on short side, kicks ahead, and Kieran Gill touches down, try number two of the afternoon for Kieran Gill, try awarded, ball was grounded says Aaron Belafonte, and Bradford just like that go back to back, it was a lovely play on tackle for Kieran Gill, kicked ahead into space. Gill cleared on side, clearly grounding the ball ahead of Ben Gale and Josh Parker. And all of a sudden, the scoreboard just racing away from York Acorn. We're in the 36th minute here at Ottel Stadium. Four minutes to go to half time. And it is Bradford Bulls 28, York Acorn 6, Kieran Gill with that try on that occasion so Deck Bannon <coughs> <coughs> I beg your pardon we'll attempt the conversion attempt 10 metres in from touch will he get the extra 2 points here and Bradford just breaking York's resilience with those back to back tries kick predictor here at 84% towards the Rooley Avenue terracing Straight between the posts from Deck Patton, five from five this afternoon. Where was this on Monday night? That consigned to the history books. Bradford 30, York 6 here at Oxford Stadium. And we've got three minutes to go to half time. So 30 points to six, Kieran Gill, his second try of the afternoon. Patton, his fifth successful conversion. So we're back on the way here via the boot of Anthony Chilton. It's West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League. Mick the game caller Gledel here. Chilton goes straight to Fogging Johnston, who runs into Patton, and he takes the tackle five metres out here. Getting a little bit heated there between Dale and Fogging Johnston. Here goes Fenton Rogers, and I think Fenton Rogers has used the elbow in the tackle here. And the players come together. It did look like Fenton Rogers <laughs> raised the elbow into one of the York Acorn players. Not sure why. Well, it was number 15, Jack Brines. And Jack Brines is complaining towards the officials here. And the players are going to have to be separated. They've all come running in. It's handbags at dawn. Almost like a school, a, a, a snowball fight when the head teacher's not looking. And Aaron Belafonte here is this going to take a report from the touch judges. York supporters wanting a red card here for Fenton Rogers. Big decision for Aaron Belafonte. It did appear 
that Fenton Rogers ten. did leave with the elbow. He's going to the back pocket here, ten and minutes. it will be ten minutes in the bin for Fenton Rogers. Leading with the elbow, will there be any further action taken? Because the players all come running in. So Bradford down to 12 men here for the closing moments of this first half. And for the first six or seven minutes of the second half. York awarded their second penalty of the game here. Referee didn't stop the clock. So we're into the final 90 seconds of the first half here at Odsall Stadium. Can York get themselves back in this game with their second try of the afternoon? Listen to the cheers if they do manage to breach the Bradford line. They're moving the ball over on that left-hand side. Chilton takes the pass out the back door. He's rolled over 10 metres out. York looking for a second crucial score. Bradford down at 12. They've got the numerical advantage. Jack Brines, he's rolled over, tackle free, 10 metres out in front of the post, a scamper out of Dunning, half from Danny Byworth, Byworth is halted by Baldwinson and Wallace and Flanagan Jr. Underneath the Bradford post, Acorn, kick from Chilton, that one's dealt with by Flanagan Jr. and Flanagan Jr. will turn defence into attack, Bradford keep their line intact despite that numerical disadvantage. And Bradford will close out this first half here with ball in hand. There's 30 seconds left here at Odsall. They might look for another try here as Joe Arundel takes it over on this main stand side. But we're literally playing down the final seconds of this first half. Bradford 30, York 6 and a forward pass from Patton to Wallace. Bradford 7 ferret in the first half. And there's the half-time hooter. So half-time here. It has not been pretty, it has been pretty gritty. So we're about to get second half proceedings underway here. Don't forget Mark Dunning making seven changes this afternoon. No George Roby, no Tom Holmes, no Ben Blackmore, no Liam Tingle, no Jordan Lilly, no Bording Thompson and no Michael Lawrence as Eben Skur carries the ball in for 40 minutes away from Bradford being in the draw on tackle one, 20 metres out from his own line. So we're back on the way here at Odson. Six again, Evan Skur wins. So not the start York Acorn would have wanted, piggybacking Bradford up the field. So tackle count restarts and resets here with Baldwinson. Now Lawford to Butler. Butler's going to be brought down. Ten shire halfway here. And it's going to be Flanagan Jr. to Senior to Wallace. And Wallace on the run around up to halfway and then some more. So Bradford sending their stall out early doors here. We'll see if there's been a reaction from Mark Dunning at half time with how they do set their stall out. But immediately the 30 metres out now from the York line. Flanagan to Patton. Patton kicks ahead. He's under pressure. But the young winger there for York Acorn. He's done well as Ben Dale. Fogging Johnson and Kieran Gill looking to put the pressure and the squeeze on. And they might force him back in goal, but he's just put an handbrake on. Second tackle gone. York find themselves still five metres out from the road line. Ben T can't make any more metres forward, so he's eight metres out from his own line on tackle three. Real strong start to the second half here from Mark Dunning and the Bulls. And they're on tackle four here, York. And they're still inside their own ten metre line. And they've had enough, York, so they're going to kick into touch. On this main stand side, and that is a four, a twenty forty there. So they've got the ball here, York Acorn. It's the first one I've seen at Odsell, and that was great awareness there, kicking out of dummy half. Anthony Chilton, he's got a twenty forty. So here we go. A tap thirty meters out from the Bradford try line. York down by 24 points. It's 30 points to six. But can they get the opening score of this second half? In there at dummy half is Byworth. Byworth now to Conroy, to Chilton. Chilton gives it to Gallagher. Gallagher's going to be brought down two metres out from that Bradford line. Remember, George Fenton Rogers, sorry, in the bin. 
And they're right on top of the Bulls line here, looking for that opening score of the second half. Once again, Chilton, crossfield kick early in the count. Ball's palm back towards Big T. T gives it back there towards Myers. Myers is wrapped up. Take meters out. Last tackle. They've gone from one end of the field to the other. And now Chilton takes aim, finds the wolf. And here goes Foggy Johnson in the snow and mud. Is he going to go the distance, Foggy Johnson? No, he's not. York track back. And that's a lovely try saving tackle there on Foggy Johnson, who gets a quick play of the ball in. And Evan Score goes hurtling into. The York defenders like the bowling ball looking for a strike down the 10 pin alley. Bradford all of a sudden have got that momentum back in a blink of an eye. I thought Foggy Johnson was away there, but it was great defence from Josh Parker bringing down the Wolf. Patton inside ball to scur. Bradford just knocking on the door now. The five metres out. And they've won another six again here, the Bulls. Patton to ball Winson. He'll just take the tackle there, Jordan Baldwinson. So third six again that the Bulls have received here this afternoon. Flanagan Senior to Joe Arundel. Two tries. Try scoring Bradford's last two games. So Flanagan to Patton. To Wallace. Wallace. Oh, AJ Wallace taking four York defenders with him. They've got a good attacking platform here, the Bulls. The five metres out. Patton now to Lawford. Lawford with a show and go. Lawford on top of the York line. <laughs> Can't get the ball down. He's rolled over on his back. An entanglement of limbs and bodies as Flanagan Senior loses the ball at dummy half. And those cheers are from the York Acorn supporters here. Flanagan Senior gets to his feet. An eight error here from the Bulls this afternoon. And we're about to see Fenner Rogers come back on the field here. So Bradford, despite being down to 12, have kept the scoreboard at the same. Bradford 30, York 6. I'm sure on a dry track, Foggin Johnson goes the distance there. 100% certain. Running through treacle, though. Cameraman Russ has just said it was like running through treacle. I tend to agree. Andy says he's listening to the commentary this afternoon from Goa in India. He watched York Acorn when they played the RAF in Portsmouth. They played well in the conditions. <coughs> Also a shout out to Matt Early, the Birkenshaw Bulls under-17s coach. A couple of Bulls supporters oh, mentioning that on. the Bulls are coming up with far too many errors. Well, I'm almost certain if Bradford come up with eight errors at this stage in the game next week against Sheffield, then this game is not 30 points to six. Very, very difficult to be a bit fierce with a criticism when I'm looking at a mud heap of a pitch covered in melting snow water York though from that error a five shy of halfway on the fifth and last tackle so a good solid conservative set of six here from Josh Mortimer's York Acorn team Chilton targets Johnston again Fogging Johnson takes that from the clouds up to the 20 25 Foggy Johnson runs lateral before he's brought down. It's very difficult to actually make out the numbers on the back of the York Acorn players because of the mud. Jaden Myers now fronts up, tackle two. Well, you'd expect Bradford have done enough in this game here to be in the hat for the draw. It's not been pretty and it has been a considerable improvement on the Bradford Underbank Rangers game at Dewsbury a couple of seasons ago. That was 20 points to nil on that occasion, and that was Dyer with a capital D. Here goes Patton now towards Wallace. Wallace is rolled over. Two York Acorn defenders in the tackle. He'll get to his feet. Five inside the York half. Now it's going to go with Lawford to Butler. Butler's back out there at the start of the second half. Last tackle. The 25 metres out in front of the York post. 
Flanagan to Lawford. Lawford crossfield kick on the inside. He's done well as Parker. Parker takes it under pressure from Flanagan Jr. And it's the two young homegrown players, Flanagan Jr. and Miles Lawford, who are the marker defenders here, bringing down Ben Teague. And he's 10 metres out from his own try line. York Acorn back in possession. Mark saying that the criticism is warranted. Both players played on the, the same pitch. Well, there's, a, there's an element of uh, truth in that and uh, a very pertinent point. Once again, Bradford's defence on top. York kicked the ball out on the full inside their own 20. Are we about to see the first points of the second half? Because we've had eight minutes gone here and we've got 32 minutes to go and it's still Bradford 30, York 6. So they're going to play the ball 20 metres out here. Sometimes you've just got to roll your sleeves up and do the nitty gritty. Here goes Butler. Tackle one. 15 metres out. Centre field position. Flanagan Senior. Lawford. Patton. Patton taking on the York Acorn line. Remember, no Holmes, no Lily, no Roby. Blackmore, Tindall, Thompson, Lawrence. Jack Walker all missing. It's a lengthy absence list for Mark Dunning this afternoon. As Patton gets up a little bit gingerly there. After a crunching hit. Here goes Eben Skur towards the line, and Eben Skur will just barrow his way past the York Acorn defence. It was a very, very static York Acorn defence there, but Eben Skur just reaching out to score there. Josh Parker involved in the tackle, but Eben Skur, too much power and momentum there. And I guess if we're talking positives here this afternoon, a sixth try for Bradford, the first of the second half. Eben Skur, his second. Welcome back, Eben. And if Bradford are going to lose Brad England for an extended period of time due to that hand injury, then getting Eben Skur back in fine form. We've had 10 minutes gone off this second half. And George Flanagan Jr. is going to take over the goal kicking because Steph Parent does not look in the best shape after being winded in that tackle so Flanagan Jr to the left hand side of the post he will convert his first attempt of the afternoon and all of a sudden Bradford Bulls leading by 30, 36 points to 6 here we've got 10 minutes gone in the second half and it's West Yorkshire Radio West Yorkshire Rugby League 36 points to 6. George Flanagan Jr. Watch Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League. So 10 minutes gone in this second half. Don't want to sound like a broken record, it's not been pretty at all. York kicked the ball out on the full. A costly penalty there. Anthony Chilton. Didn't quite have his surroundings. And here come Bradford. Now all of a sudden it looks like there's someone's lit the fuse to the rocket. And the rocket's about to hit orbit. Joe Arundel wants to get a quick tap, which he does. It's 20 metres out now from the York Acorn line. And Bradford about to score try number seven of the afternoon. They go down the middle here with Baldwinson. Jonah Baldwinson rolled over. So the highlight from this game, Kieran Gill two tries, Evan Skirt two tries. Here goes Joe Arundel down the middle. Joe Arundel still going here. He's finally wrapped up by Josh Parker and Danny Byworth. Two metres out. Flanagan Senior. Miles Lawford through a gap. Miles Lawford will pirouette and dance his way to the York Acorn try line. A lovely eye-catching score there. It was Flanagan to Lawford. Lawford with a dummy. And that try was Paul Deaconesque. Miles Lawford taking three. Your kick on defenders on. And all of a sudden the Bulls have come alive here at Oxford Stadium. We're in the 52nd minute. And Bradford have hit 40. A seventh try of the afternoon. It's Miles Lawford's first of the season. And the young scrum half dancing his way to the line. 
and George Flanagan now letting Deck Pannon go back to the goal kicking after he's recovered from being winded. Kick predictor for Patton. It's at 100% because it's pretty much underneath the post. No, Although Patton has missed it from in front. Oh, we put the mockers on Patton. The kick predictor. It's never been defeated at 100%. So Patton, five from six. He's missed it as Patton. Miles Lawford with a try. It's 40 points to six. And we're in the 52nd minute. West Yorkshire, New York, West Yorkshire Rugby League. 52nd minute gone here at Odsall. 28 remaining. And it's 40 points to six. Back underway here by Anthony Chilton. Straight down the front of Flanagan Jr. Don't forget the fourth and fifth round draws of the Challenge Cup are on Wednesday evening at six o'clock. First misconversion of the afternoon. Here goes Eben Skur again. Oh, he's made 20 metres on that carrot. Welcome back, Eben Skur. <laughs> With that lengthy injury to Brad England, you will be the perfect tonic. And here goes Flanagan Sr. He's up to halfway here. And Bradford looked like they found the mojo. Padden now to Lawford. Lawford just goes down in the mud under a two man tackle from Anthony Chilton and Ben Teague. Now it goes down the middle here with Baldwinson. He's rolled over. Last tackle play here for the Bulls. 40 points to six. Goes wide with Patton. Gets the nod from Foggy Johnston. Johnston chasing this one. Parker takes it. Bradford kick chase defence offside. 6 3 the penalty count. <coughs> Fucking Johnson adjusts to be offside in the 10. Also, AJ Wallace, I do believe. So, Bradford 40. York 6. York tapping the ball on halfway here. Going down the middle here with Danny Byworth. Fenton Rogers comes in with Chester Butler. Ball's been lost. Referee's going to give York the benefit of the doubt. As York now come on this attacking run on this left hand side. The pitch actually made a little bit smaller this afternoon due to. Uh, some remedial work needing to be done due to the speedway and the game as we said if it was a championship game it would not have gone ahead that was from the referee but because it's a challenge cup time it needs to be played they've decided they both coaches Mark Dunning and Josh Mortimer are happy to play it this was this the next week the game's off last tackle Acorn 20 metres out Chilton crossfield kick puts a rundle under pressure He's caught it as Grant, but he's rolled over five metres out. And that was really good defence there from Flanagan Jr. He allowed George Hunt to take the ball from the clouds before wrapping him up. And Bradford will take over possession five metres out from their own try line. Jaden Myers also involved in that tackle. And Bradford back in possession here. 15 metres out from their own line on tackle two. I thought there might have been a bit of a... An appeal for a, a penalty for that perhaps George Hunt being taken out in the air there, but the officials were happy that both Jaden Myers and George Flanagan Jr. were happy that Hunt's feet had hit terra firma before contact was made with the York back row forward. So Bradford just moving the ball down the middle here. Mark a screen with those bright young things coming off the Bulls production line. Chester Butler leaving the field. Here goes George Flanagan to Flanagan Jr. to Green to Skur. Electric passing. Oh. Kieran Gill's away. This will be the try of the afternoon. And Kieran Gill will cross for try number three of the afternoon. A real eye coaching score. It was Flanagan Senior to Junior to Green to Skur. Skur to Wallace. Wallace sucked in that edge defence and Kieran Gill goes over from 40 metres out. That is one of the tries of the season. You will see it. 
Here at Hudson, when you factor in the conditions, it was lovely, lovely, warm weather passing in awful conditions. But Kieran Gill, he has tried number three of the afternoon. He's up to six tries for the season. And I think on that play there, if there was any ever doubt, that's the moment with 24 minutes left here at Hudson that Bradford are in the draw on Wednesday evening. Flanagan Jr. taking taking <coughs> over kicking for Bradford <coughs> over on the fast hand side. York supporters a little bit animated with something they've seen. Kick predictor for George Flanagan Jr. here. Oh, 44%. It's over on the far stand side. Oh, it's got it. It's George Flanagan Jr. The York fans thought that would have gone wide. Well, maybe. Adam wants to this hand over to Flanagan for the final 24 minutes of the game because it's Bradford Bulls 46. York K card 6 here in Odson. Fast approaching the hour mark. 23 minutes or so left in this one. West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League, Bulls TV, Mick Game Caller, Glenel here at Odsall. Evan Skirt on the restart, tackle one. 15, make that 20 metres out. Well, I'm sure they've tried to take Evan Skirt off, but Evan Skirt just does not want to come off. He's happy. And I tell you what, I don't know what Evan Skirt's been doing in the off season, but he's been training really, really hard. And he looks. Real, real menacing as, oh, well, someone's running here on uh, Fenton Rogers, uh, and that's a very, very silly penalty here for York Acorn to concede. And these are real danger now. This game could perhaps just blow out somewhat, because I'm looking at some of the body language from the York Acorn players. They went through so much work in the middle the third of this game in that first half they kept Bradford scoreless for nearly 20 minutes and Bradford just looked like they want to uh, open the gates and let the dogs out to play here Marcus Green tackle one Flanagan Senior down the middle here with Fenton Rogers bounces off one bounces off two back to Lawford Apples back out there on the field he's brought down tackle two well, Big Kevin wants to get on the act. He's not scored yet for the Bulls, despite the impact he's made. And they're going wide again here. Flanagan Jr. has lost the ball on the line. And here come York. The hair in away down that fast and touch line. And that's good defence there to bring down Ben Dale. So, 21 minutes left here at Odsall. It's Bradford 46. York Acorn 6. I think you've got to factor in the seven changes. That's going to affect continuity, cohesion. It's been a much, much better performance than we have seen against Underbank, the sort of last uh, non-professional team that Bradford played. And this is good defence again. Chilton forced to kick early. Myers palms it backwards to Flanagan Jr. Jr. back to Myers. Myers wrapped up by two, but that three blue shirted York Acorn defenders. Here goes Paddon in at dummy half. Now to Arundel. I guess the key for Mark Dunning in the Bulls is not to concede any more injuries here. As we say, it's quite a lengthy injury list, and hopefully, when we speak to Mark at full time, he can tell us. <coughs> he could tell us. Um, you know, just an update really on, on Holmes and Lilly. That's the uh, the one I think a lot of people will want to know about. Here goes Patton now. Takes on Chilton. Chilton does well. Wraps up Patton behind. Back out of dummy half here from Flanagan Senior. Now to Green, to Rogers. Bradford on the last tackle. 25 out from the York line. York still def Defending valiantly here as Patton kicks on the inside to George Flanagan Jr. Who gives a miracle ball to Kevin Apple. And Apple will score his first try for the Red, Amber and Black. 
Well, that was a lovely take out of the air from Flanagan Jr. He sucked in Josh Parker. And somehow, in the act of taking the tackle, Flanagan Jr. has found the outside support. And Kevin Apo has his first try for the Bradford Bulls. And it is now 50 points to 6. And we're in the 61st minute here. So, 19 minutes to go. And that might be the loudest cheer of the afternoon. Kevin Apo getting on the scoring. Lovely try assist there from Deck Parent. Lovely, clever chip on the inside. Into open field. Flanagan Jr. quickest to react. And what about that pass? When you watch that back on the replay, you'll see that that was a try worth the admin's money alone. So, Apple with Bradford's ninth try of the afternoon. Kick predictor for George Flanagan Jr. 84% again. And that one goes over the post over the black dot so Bradford Bulls 52 York Acorn 6 we're in the 61st minute and also 19 to go Bradford just running away with this one here <coughs> West Yorkshire Radio West Yorkshire Rugby League a big big resounding win and result for Mark Dunning in the Bulls York Acorn playing their part, as we said. When you talk about some of the opposition they play, like Roth Brown, who've gone down away to Batley by 60 points to nil. Chilton drills the ball towards Apo, and they've come up with possession here of York Acorn as the sun just peeps from behind the clouds. So they're back in possession here. York Acorn on the restart. Can Josh Mortimer's side get a consolation score so we've got 18 minutes left here in Odson and it's 52 points to 6 back down the middle they're going to go here now with Elliot Bulmer they've not had any ball or much ball in the second half York because of obviously the tries Bradford have been scoring but there's a chance here now for Nathan Conroy Conroy's 10 metres out to the right hand side of the post back in there at dummy half is Speck Speck now to Stubbs who scored the try for York after eight minutes. It was six points apiece at that stage. Back it's going to go to Chilton. Chilton floats the ball. Apple's disrupted that play. Apple's knocked the ball on here. Scrum head and feet to York. Acorn, a repeat set of six. Josh Mortimer's team will go again and they will fancy the chances because this will be a second consecutive set of six here. So just a quick reminder, the draw on Wednesday at 6 o'clock for the fourth and fifth round of the Betfred Challenge Cup. So Bradford will know their fourth and fifth round opponents should they beat whoever they get drawn against in the fourth round. Conroy to Gallagher. Gallagher's wrapped up. Five metres out from the Bradford line, tackle one. Back down the middle here with Stubbs. Stubbs attracting a lot of attention here. Josh Johnson's back out there on the field. Eben Skur is still out there. Well, it's been a huge monumental effort from him. He'll be in man of the match category, as will Kieran Gill for his effort and application in those three tries. York coming down the short side here. Josh Parker, the fullback, is uh, receiving medical treatment in the background. And they've gone without the ball here, York. And they've come up with the error five metres out from the Bradford line. It's now scrum, head and feed. Ten metres out from the road try line. So, Bradford 32, York 6. Closing moments of this game. Final 15 minutes to go. Good to hear the York fans still uh, enjoying their afternoon here in West Yorkshire. Brad Foster, incidentally, did the first 15, 20 minutes, scored the try and then hasn't come back on. So we'll check with Mark Dunning about Brad Foster. But Bradford do appear to have a, a little bit of a lengthy injury list if you're losing Holmes and Lily for that game next week against Sheffield. Jordan Lilly with a knee 
Tom Holmes with a knock. Nothing serious said Mark Dunning, so perhaps this was an afternoon knowing how difficult the pitch was going to be to uh, rest two key players in Mark Dunning's side. Eben Skir once again, just rolling his sleeves up like a pig in mud and making the metres forward. Patton's ball's come off the York player and that is going to be an illegal move. So another penalty to Bradford. They're eight for the afternoon. Patton's gone down. Little bit of dramatics there. Nothing serious. It was Flanagan's pass to Patton. Yeah, Patton clearly taken late there by Matthew Woods. And Aaron Berafonte has not done much. So 52 points to six. I'm not sure what I said, apologies. 52 points to six. And we've got 15 minutes left here. Well, just mentioned about Brad Foster. He's about to come back on for the final 15 minutes. He's coming on now to replace AJ Wallace. So uh, that answers that question. No injury prevailing. So, Skur to Flanagan to Patton Flanagan Junior now 20 metres out from the York line they're looking for try number 10 of the afternoon here at the Bradford Bulls and it's another 6 again here so Bradford awarded their 5th 6 again York now just want to take this game to Bradford it's getting a little bit silly and grubby out there George Flanagan Junior was being held in the tackle and then the players have all come together. Chilton, Dale, Conroy, Foster, who's just come on the field, trying to separate the two teams. Referee Belafonte stopped the clock and he'll take the report from the two touch judges. No Liam Tyndall, cup tied. No George Roby, cup tied. They'll be both back next week. I should add that. So when we talk about injuries, them two not injured. Penalty to York Acorn. Well, <laughs> the referee has reversed the penalty there on advice of the touch judges. It's a little bit not hard to feel sorry for George Flanagan Jr. there. I don't felt he did too much wrong in that tackle, but the official saying he was holding Ryan Gallagher down, and that's why Gallagher started uh, getting a little bit physical with young George on the floor so Bradford 52 York 6 York now with Chilton here goes Hunt Hunt's brought down 30 metres out Speck to Parker Arundel coming in there wrapping up the winger <coughs> Ben T gets to his feet, plays the ball, chilted across the face of the post to Conroy. Conroy's kicked early in the count, and Padden, alert to the danger, just sticks his foot out, and he will have possession back here for the Bradford Bulls. So we're just playing down time here in Odsall this afternoon. Just a quick reminder, the draw taking place on Wednesday evening at 6 o'clock. That, I'm told will be on the red button. So a lot of people will be interested to see who Bradford's potential opponents are in the fourth and fifth rounds. That draw taking place at Millen in Cumbria. <coughs> Their 150th year as a community club. Foster plays the ball. Patton looks for a 40-20. Patton. Oh, it dispels up kindly there for... Ben Dale <laughs> oh Ben Dale absolutely flattened there by Brad Foster it's legal and the York Acorn supporters enjoying that one in this crowd and you've got to give York Acorn credit 30 points to 6 in half time they've managed to stem the tide and it's 52 points to 6 Speck now to Chilton. He's going to go for a 40 20. Foggy Johnston and Flanagan Jr. come across. Foggy Johnston slips on the turf. He's still going, Foggy Johnston. Well, it is like running on ice. It's like going down a Bradford ice rink and uh, trying to play rugby league on it. And fair play to Foggy Johnston. But here comes Jaden Myers. 
he's literally smothered and crunched in a two-man tackle, 20 metres out. Lawford's in there at dummy half. Here goes Kevin Apo. Oh, it's gone. He's beat one, beat two. Can't beat three and four. But it's a good 20 metre run there by Kevin Apo. Get to his feet, he'll play the ball. Back down the middle here with Marcus Green. They're on halfway, Bradford, with a tackle or so remaining. Here we go. Ball goes wide to Patton, to Foster. Foster fronts up. He's wrapped up by Stubbs and Speck. They're on the last tackle. Five metres inside the... York Acorn half of the field as Patton, a high hanging spiralling bomb. That's coming down for Ben Teague, who's lost the ball, but he's facing his own line, says the officials. And York Acorn will remain in possession as Ben Teague plays his ball 10 metres out from his own try line. As Ben Dale goes in at dummy half and he just makes a couple of metres forward. So the final 10 minutes of this game here this afternoon. And of course, Bradford, well, they're looking for more points here as Evan Skurs lost the ball forward. Flanagan's around underneath the post. Referee says knock on, scrum and feet to Bradford. Try and disallowed. Double knock on. Bradford have a chance here to get try number 10 of the afternoon. We'll keep you up to date with all the latest scores and we can tell you in the Challenge Cup it is Siddle 12, Sheffield 34. Still playing at Craven Park, Barrow 26, Swinton 10. It's Doncaster 18, Workington 20 at the Keepmore. And Halifax leading Featherstone by 22 points to 18 at Post Office Road. Bradford from the base of the scrum to Pattern. Out to Jaden Myers. Myers over in at the corner. And that's his first career try in the red, amber and black. It's an afternoon, a first saving on Sill this afternoon. A 10th try of the afternoon for Mark Dunn inside. Lovely Chris passing. It was Flanagan to Patton. Patton to Myers. Myers over in at the corner. And we've got eight minutes to go here. We're in the 72nd minute. And it's 56 points to six. So five tries in each half for the Bulls. A much changed Bradford Bulls side. Jaden Myers with a try. He's right on this main stand touchline. George Flanagan will attempt the conversion once again. Yet to miss this afternoon. Kick predictor says 51%. Five metres in from this main stand touchline. Is the 56 about to turn a 58? We shall see. Oh, he's doing the Johnny Wilkinson dance here, Flanagan Jr. Can he pilot this one between the post? It's caught the wind, it's wide. His first miss of the afternoon, three from four. It remains Bradford Bulls, 56. York Acorn, six here in Odsall. And we're in the 73rd minute now, so 56 points to six. And that was a lovely, lovely try. So, final moments. Minutes of this game. Bradford 56, York 6, West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League. It's not been pretty this afternoon. York Acorn still going for the short restart here. And they've come up with the ball here because Karen Gill's knocked it on. And I tell you what, game's done and dusted here. Those York Acorn supporters on the far stand side, they just want to see another try. I said at the, uh, the the start of the game after Tim Stubbs had crossed at six points apiece, you know, that's their afternoon. You know, they don't care what happens from here on in. It's been a real good showing here from York Acorn. And I think they'll be delighted in the end scheme of things. Although they've gone without the ball here. And it's a penalty to Bradford because the York player who's picked the ball up off the floor was in an offside position. So they got the ball back from the, the Kieran Gill error. 56 points to 6. Miles Lawford just wants to find touch. He'll do more than that. Well, Miles Lawford is Tech and Bradford. Five metres inside the York half. And they're looking for a, an 11th try of the afternoon. Well, let's see what happens here. They've got to tap the ball on this main stand side where the touch judge is saying. So do Bradford have one more try in them this afternoon? 
Lawford to Patton to Flanagan. Ball's been knocked on by the York scrum half, Nathan Conroy. So scrum head and feed here to Bradford on halfway. Bradford were trying that looped passing move. It was lateral from right to left. It was Arundel, Lawford. Lawford missed out. Skur, Flanagan, Apo and Foster. And it was heading towards Flanagan Jr. And the York scrum half. Nathan Conroy just tapped it forward in the Bradford half. So scrum to Bradford. As you were. Flanagan, Lawford, Arundel. Bouncing from one to two. 10 metres inside the York half of the field. Closing moments of this game here in Odsall. Here goes Kevin Apo down the middle. <laughs> Four players bringing him down. That's going to create space on the left edge. And Bradford are going through the gap here with Patton. Patton. Deck Patton. Oh, momentum will take Deck Patton home. And that was a lovely try from Bradford scrum half deck Patton it went from right to left and Patton from 30 metres out he went on the diagonal towards the corner he straightened up and he touches down at the side of the post Bradford hit 60 here at Odso and that was a lovely score from deck Patton so deck Patton Bradford's 11th try of the afternoon and we're in the 77th minute here at Odsell so you might suspect Bradford might just have one more set of six in this game Flanagan Jr from in front kick predicted 100% Bradford 62 York Acorn 6 the Bulls are in the draw on Wednesday for the fourth round of the Challenge Cup referee stops the clock so, two minutes left here at Odsell, Flanagan, four from five. And I think when you analyse what we've seen here, you've got to say, in the conditions, probably part of the course is performance from the Bulls. You've made seven changes, you're missing star players, Jack Walker, Tom Holmes, Jordan Lilly, Bodie Thompson, Michael Lawrence. You suspect Bradford are a little bit more clinical and ruthless with those players on the field. Once again, York are going for another short restart and they've got the ball back again, although they've lost it into the arms of Kieran Gill. So Bradford might just have one more try under the shoulders here as the ball goes down the middle here with Foggy Johnston. Because we're in the final 70 seconds or so here at Odsell. As the ball has been spilt now by the Bradford Bulls. <laughs> and the back in possession here, York Acorn. So the final few seconds, final few moments of this match here in Hudson Stadium. As York just enter the Bradford 30 metre mark of the field. Chilton kicks knowing the clock's counting down picked up by Myers Myers goes on a run from right to left the crowd are counting us down here at Odso the hooter sounds Myers takes the tackle 15 out from his old try line and it's full time here Bradford Bulls 62 York Acorn 6 Mark 